Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the database concept course. So today we are going to introduce with, with uh, chapter 1 database and database user. Hi, so uh, today is officially our first lecture. Uh, we are going to start our module 1 with uh, which is chapter 1. We are going to talk about database and database users. And then we're going to talk about uh, database architecture. So um, what is database and what is database management system? So this course about knowing uh, database concept. Okay. So this is one of the important course in computer science. So uh, we are going to, uh, as in this course, we are going to know about a lot of uh, topics regarding database. Uh, it's also important to know that what is the motivation behind that. Means we are learning a new topics, but uh, why actually we are learning database? So uh, this in this uh, topics in this uh, uh, in this module, we are going to actually introduce you with the very basic definition of database few terms of database and uh, uh, we're going to see why actually we are going to learn about database management system means actually what is the motivation behind learning a new topic database management system so database uh, database is what is database database is a large integrated collection of data it's a collection of data now in a database, uh, we use a set of related data. We uh, in a database, uh, we store a set of related data and we organize a set of related data so that uh, we can actually easily store, change, and access the data anytime. So a database is a large collection of data, but in a database, actually, uh, they are a collection of set or set of related data, and the database means the data are organized in such a way and the purpose is that we want to easily access the data we want to store the data and we want to change or manipulate the data anytime so the database actually model a real world enterprise say for example if we think about just a mini world say we want to think about uh, say we want to think about our university okay so just think about our university and think about university is our mini world. So in that case, we can model this mini world using the database. The large set of data that will model a mini world. We can model the mini world using database. So we can model this mini world using few concepts, entities. Entities means the object, the component of that world. For example, student course. And each of the component or each of the entities, they are related with each other. For example, say Madhuri is teaching some course. So Madhuri is an entity, which an uh, entity of instructor type, which is one component in this world. This is a, another type of entity, which is say course type. Okay. So in a world, in a mini world, we have different type of components and we have different type of relationship between them. So using the database, we can model a real world. We can model the real world using, um, using all the set of data. Okay. And the purpose of using the database is that we can we want to easily access the data at any time now database means a collection of data and what is a database management system database management system is a dedicated software package which is designed to store and manage the database so let's see a couple of example database that we are using in our everyday life so we use online video streaming so netflix hulu these are example of online video streaming which is which are now very popular so these video streaming uh, websites uh, websites they use a large collections of 
and large collections of video products. So also they use a lot of a database of users. Okay, so they use these uh, they store all of these video streaming and they all they store the database of users and they keep track of which user is watching which videos so that by using them they can give us a better recommendation another example is social network so this is another type of database we are using in our everyday life facebook twitter and there are a lot of another type of social network like instagram and a lot of other social network we are using uh, these all social networking uh, websites they are also using a set of users okay these uh, social networking means a set of users and the relationship between them and each of the users are interacting with each other in a, a couple of ways and they are sharing their thought and everything so all of these are being uh, stored in the database and organized so that actually uh, so that actually the this social networking website they want to recommend a better topic they want to recommend a user better fr uh, friend topic and Im important uh, interesting topics recommendation everything so all right so uh, the social networking is another uh, interesting example database that we are using in our daily life another example is personal cloud storage so whenever we are uh, working with a project we are uh, working in a file uh, everything then we store them in our local computer but also we do not want to lose them so we we may want to use some cloud storage so Dropbox, Google Drive they are example of some cloud storage so these cloud storage are actually saving our um, our important files and also they're saving the user information okay so this is another example of database that we are using in our daily life so another example is shopping so shopping means um, uh, shopping Amazon eBay etc and there are a lot of other shopping websites we are using there are target based by Walmart and all of them are uh, using online platform so the purpose of this using online platform is that they want to have inform they want to store all the information of the product and also they want to store all the information of the users so when they have all the information of which user is buying which product they can actually make better recommendation okay and these are all these are not all the database we are using there are a lot of other examples we are using in our everyday life so what is the main purpose that now every uh, almost every software uh, almost every software like who has data they are using a backend database so the purpose is that actually the database give us the way to store the database so that we can easily access them okay it's not just we uh, the user we are the front end user we can easily access them but in the back end also this software for example netflix hulu facebook twitter that we are talking about they can also analyze which user is how the users are using their product okay so that they can uh, use this uh, so that they can use this data and they can make better recommendation and they can make their software make their software more better and also the purpose of database is that the is so that the user can manipulate the data very easily okay so why use a dbms uh, using a dbms it reduces the application development time so we may want to store all the data uh, we may think uh, think to store all the data in a file or in other platform but if we have a dedicated software like a database management system a database management system is a dedicated software so that actually uh, so that actually uh, it keeps the data and the software independent and it really reduces the application development time 
also the database management software gives us a data independence so in database management system the data we keep the data and application like program okay separate from each other we keep the data and application separate from each other so when we need the application is going to use the data and they are going to fetch the data from the database management system and they are going to show the data in the application or program but um, we want to keep the the we want to keep the data and application program separate and that makes actually the access more efficient also that keeps the data more secure all right another uh, important aspect of using database management system is that it keeps us a way for the concurrent access think about like that you are using uh, amazon all right now amazon has actually a lot of user all right a millions of users are actually using amazon and multiple users are actually concurrently using this website and there is a possibility that there is the same product that is being uh, that is being accessed by the different type of user different type of users are concurrently trying to access the same product okay now when the same product is being uh, concurrently used by different user there should have actually the facility so that that keeps us the access so that um, uh, so that you can uh, so that act uh, so that it keeps us the uh, right way to access the product another uh, use of dbms is crash recovery so there could happen that you have a data center or you have uh, the data storage but uh, it could crash actually anytime but we cannot actually um, afford to lose data so the database management system also give us a recovery recovery process so that we can uh, means uh, they give us a way for backupping the data so that we can recover the data okay so another is uniform data administration so the data administration has to give us a uniform way so that um, so uh, so that the data administration become uniform so the basic definitions uh, just let's see the basic definitions so a database means it's a collection of related data okay a collection of related data organized in the database data means some known facts that will be recorded and that has some implicit meaning so all the data for example in amazon the data means the information of the product information of the users all right and the relationship between them they are the examples of data mini world is actually a real world where the data is stored in the database so a mini world means actually when we talk about the database database means it's a set of related data so in <coughs> using the database we can model a mini world for example we can think about like this university system a mini world where uh, we have all the set of related information only the related information which is related with the university so in this mini world we can think about uh, there are students there are instructor there are course there are staff all right and the relationship between them so student are is uh, student are going to enroll a course instructor will teach a course so there will be staff who will uh, publish the grade and we want to student want to see their transcripts everything so that's a mini world a database management system is a software package or a dedicated software which will facilitate this creation and maintenance of this computerized database all right and the database system and all together we can say it say that this is a database system a database system means we have the database management software together with the data itself okay so the database data and the database management system all together it's a database system all right 
and sometimes the uh, application program and interface also uh, can be a part of database system so let's see uh, the a very simplified database system environment so here we can see a simple database so let's see this is the user or sometime we can call it the front-end user the front-end user means who is using the database okay it can be a user or it can be a programmer so when a user or programmer use a data database they had some interface by which they are going to use the dbms software so there could be some application program or query or interface so using the interface let's see there is an interface where we can write some query or by uh, which we can we want to access the database using the interface we can using we can use the database so we are going to the front-end user can access the database using dbms software in this dbms software we can have some software which will process the query or program all right and this query uh, query uh, or program is going to access the software which will access the stored data all right using that we are having this dbms software and if this dbms software so we are saying this is actually a software okay and this software is going to access the data and we are going to actually store the data in the in some storage okay in some storage so we are going to use some storage device all right to store all the data so they are all the storage device where we are going to store the real data okay so uh, these storage device they can be actually a uh, secondary storage for example hard disk okay so they are the part of hardware okay means hard disk all right so stored uh, data and then we have the dbms software all right and the application and program by which the user uh, are going to access the database okay all together this is our database system all right 